dear friends welcome back in the previous session we discussed the fundamentals of association analysis or association rule mining we also understood what exactly is the market basket analysis and the impact of the same essentially we all want to improve the customer count and the customer visit to our retail stores or any stores for that matter so we are going to learn more on this line and this session is going to talk about some mathematics yes we are going to find out some mathematics related content i mean i am going to find out the support and the confidence percentage so we are going to have some data here and the data is all represented with the transaction id i got 1000 7000 5000 and 3000 as the transaction id and the items bought respectively are a b c a c f a d b e f so what do you understand out of this very simple the items that are sold are a b c d e and f and we get each transaction connected to some of these items which are bought together so first transaction has got a b c together the second transaction has got a c f together and the third has got a d together and final one has got b e f together so all these are going to be analyzed and we are going to find out what is the support percentage and confidence percentage when we have a implying c or c implying a so we are going to analyze that let's go ahead to the first scenario where a implying c has to be found out well we are going to find out the support percentage and the confidence percentage that's it it's very simple let's calculate the support first support is nothing but the number of transactions which contain a out of all the transactions so a implied c is what we need to find out and for this scenario we are going to find out the number of transactions which contain a out of all the transactions so abc has got a acf has got a ad has got a and here i do not have a at all so i have got three transactions in which a is available out of the four transactions so 3 by 4 is nothing but 75 percentage and support is 75 now what is confidence confidence is nothing but the number of transactions which contain both a and c out of all the transactions which contain a so we are going to identify the transactions where we have both a and c out of all the transactions which contain a so you can see that right now i am going to have a and c to be found out together so a and c are here a and c are here and a is already found in three transactions abc has got a acf has got a ad has got a but at the same time what is our intention our intention is to find out the transactions which contain both a and c so abc has got a and c acf has got a and c and since we have only two here and three for the number of transactions which contain a we can call it 2 by 3 and it is 66.6% so for a implying c the support is 75% and the confidence is 66.6% it's very simple now we are going to analyze what is the case when we have c implying a the data set remains the same the formula almost remains the same with mild changes over what, what do we treat as the numerator what do we treat as denominator that's it with that we will conclude the session now let's calculate the support number of transactions which contain c out of all transactions last time it was a because a implies c was what is calculated now we are going to calculate c implying a so we need to find out the number of transactions which contain c out of all transactions a b c has got c a c f has got c a d has got no c b f has got no c so we've got two transactions totally out of four which has got c in feature so 2 by 4 is 50 now what is confidence the confidence is number of transactions which contains both c and a out of all transaction which contain c so i have got two transactions which contain c and that's what is called as support and we have already found it out but now when we come in into picture we need to also identify the number of transactions which contain both c and a so abc has got a and c acf has got a and c so it is 2 by 2 which is 100% so when c implying a comes into picture the support is 50% and confidence is 100% that's all so very simple very simple very important math that we need to understand uh, we need to calculate the number of item sets and the association rules as well and for that we need to remember something if there are n items in the data set then there are 2 to the power of n minus 1 item sets excluding the root set is available 
root set is an empty set also called as null item set remember all this we are going to use this a little later if there are n items in a data set then there are 3 to the power of n minus 2 to the power of n plus 1 plus 1 association rules can be generated just remember it we are going to use it for sure in the near future association rule mining can be viewed as a two-step process where we are going to find all the frequent item sets and then we are going to generate strong association rules from the frequent item sets so what are we telling very simple we need to find out all the frequent item sets and then we will find out what exactly is the association that we can find from the frequent item sets we are going to learn the process of identifying the first one and the second one and a priori algorithm is the most famous in that and i am going to talk about it in the next session i hope you have understood clearly what i have tried to convey in this session if you have any questions suggestions please go ahead and type it in the comment section if you like the channel and the content please give a thumbs up and subscribe thank you